Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dark and Light. I am your host, Renovate, and we're playing on the Voxel Squad server with a bunch of other cool peeps. And uh, if you want to watch what's going on with their builds and their discoveries, make sure you check out their videos. I think there's a link in the description below. Also, if you're interested in Voxel Squad, make sure you click the link down there too for the Discord channel. Jump over there and join us. Um, so I've been asked, uh, by a couple people actually, uh, why I haven't been recording Dark and Light. And it's not that I don't like the game. It's not that at all. Actually, the game is pretty good. Um, considering I, I played Ark when it first came out and it wasn't that great. And, uh, the people that made this game are from Ark. And, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're keeping the, their game, um, pretty updated they're fixing a lot of the the bug fixes or a lot of the bugs that we had when we first started recording and first started playing on the server and of course there's still going to be people be people that are whining about stuff and i've made a few complaints one of them being uh the invisible stuff <laughs> stuff you can walk right through um one of the most one of the most frustrating things i i still find is that um you would think that in the code when when making a game um let's say like the trees over there um i can't run through them because they're solid but if i'm on a mount and i'm running towards an animal the mount and the animal will merge together as one and you can't get off of your mount if you do happen to get off your mount you get stuck inside their body and thus they will kill you and you have no defense against it. So that's one of the that's the, that's still the pretty the, the largest complaint that I have. But other than that, I I think the game is a great game. I really do. The reason I haven't been recording though is a <laughs> um, I just don't know what to record, guys. I really don't. I I I I wouldn't mind showing you like what I do and what I build and each process and taming stuff. But I tamed probably seven boars already and just the mechanics of of keeping them safe and and stuff like that has been uh for me a pain in the ass so i just stopped taming things actually because i don't need it the only thing i really need the boar for is the boar can get me uh certain plants um that i can't just pick by hand to uh, get further levels but i'll probably end up having to get that i lost my sheep uh, the sheep died to a skeleton that spawned from a meteor that lands uh, basically right outside my fence right here every time a meteor comes. And then I have one that spawns over there. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I'm level 32. I think I ended uh, episode number one at like level 11 or something like that. And so I've been doing a ton of stuff. And you can see that I have this cool perimeter fence that's all spikes. And I did that because that's one of the, the one of the easiest things to build to get your your woodworking um, levels up. And so I built this big perimeter, and I built this gigantic house. So it's kind of like our little house, but it's bigger. Get it? And um, I've got a lot of stuff in it actually. I'm at it's got I ain't got that much stuff in it, but I got like a table. Um, the table is not really proportioned. I feel like a kid, but I am a dwarf. But I'm supposed to be a tall a tall dwarf. I got a couple cooking pots. I got these drying preserving bins, um, which I don't know where, which one. Well, this one had the food in it. These spoil in looks like one more day and 23 hours, so two days basically. Um, and then I got some some food in here, and this is gonna spoil in six hours. It's not like I can eat it, you know, but um, I really don't need it. Um, I also got a workbench set up right here. And I got two forges and a bunch of storage bins. And they basically start from wood. And then they work their way down from uh, twine and then hay or straw, whatever you want to call it, which I don't have any. And they just work their way down this way. So this is my little house. This is made out of wood. Um, we got a little exit door here. I got a nice little walkway. I got a little chair here I can sit in. See if we can sit on our wooden chair. Or maybe not. So that's probably a bug too. 
I can see Toddy's place. Toddy is right there. He's over there. I think that's actually his straw building. I think his wood building is behind it. And then that is the main Dwarven city over there. And then I have no idea what's anywhere else. And I made this little place right here so I can talk uh, down to all the people. I made a little farm. So you can see down there, there's a little pipe coming out of the water. And then it, it goes over into our plants. Just experiment with the things, you know. Um, that's what you do to try to learn the game. I feel like my gamma, though, is, is really, really low. So let's type in uh, gamma. Let's try uh, 2.5. And that brightened it a little bit. Not much, though. Um, so, yeah, that's what I've been doing. So, I'm level 32. Um, I got a ton of crap. I got tons of saddles. I made saddles so we can... Uh, let's type in U so you can see where we're at. I really want to try to get this because I really want these larger chests um, and the ability to make iron. And what is this? Uh, a private storage box. I'm not really worried about that. Um, but, yeah, if we go over to taming... Or not taming, but writing you can see that if I go down here I just unlocked the Kodo saddle the Longhorn saddle and the Vrock saddle. Now the Vrock is the two-headed bird and I haven't really seen any of those in my area but I I presume that they are around. Um, I do have these little cool spiked wooden fences that kinda keep me protected. I got one there and I got one right here. Then I got one down there that takes me uh, back to town. So yeah, that's that's where I've been. I've been playing it quite a bit. I mean, actually, I just didn't have recorded anything, and I'm just I just have a feeling though. As soon as I get really involved in the game and I start building all this stuff and taming animals and bringing them in here and, and keeping them safe and 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 watching this little tree right here float in midair that they're going to do a reset because that's what they did on arc all the time and it got frustrating and uh, i just don't want to go through that again uh, i made these torches too i don't think yeah they don't have anything in it and then uh, there's actually a torch down there um so building is is fun i'm not gonna lie um it i i miss the the mods i'm used you know arc had that um the mod that uh, would allow you to put stuff where there is an obstruction. I forget what it's called. Non-obstruction or CS or something like that. Um, and I couldn't figure out, if you look at my floorboards, they're like all different directions. And then even some of my wall panels are backwards. And I couldn't figure out how to rotate them. And um, other than standing in front of it and doing all this camera crap and trying to move it, you just press E. That's all you got to do is press E or R or something like that. And it flips it. <laughs> and I didn't notice that until... Uh, I basically had the whole entire freaking building done and I was actually putting in this window right here and it 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 got put in so that the foggy side see all the foggy side it's kind of like opaque but if you go outside and look through it it's clear so it looks like there's no glass right there but if you go inside it, it's kind of uh, you can't really see it right there but it's you can kind of see it on that one. It's kind of white. But anyways, so that's where I noticed it. And then I realized that you could flip them. So I like these things, though. These are the windows. You can actually go up to the windows and you can close the windows. So if it's really cold outside or something, you can. I don't want to demolish it. Come on. Um, come on. Eh, eh. No. Just shut the damn window. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Close. There we go. Close the windows. Keep us safe. Um, what's in the storage box? I think it's just food and it's bones. Okay. So yeah, that's where I've been. So um, I got all our tools. We actually have iron tools so we can go get lots of copper. And um, I got an upgraded staff. I got a, uh, what do you call this thing over here? This is a, a sickle, I think, or I forget what this is called. Let's go to inventory. It's called a, yeah, it's a sickle or a, a scythe, a scythe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, everything's iron now, which is great. Um, for some reason, though, um, hmm, for some reason, I'm missing all my armor. So I wonder if I put my armor away. But yeah, I made a bunch of armor. One of these boxes is that's empty. Um, there's my extra tools. Now I got the crossbow. 
I mean, I, I don't like it at all. And then uh, this morning they came out with an update where they decreased the uh, damage that your bo your arrows do. And I didn't find that cool at all. At all. So, I don't have hardly anything, do I? In the crossbow, it just takes so freaking long to shoot. Um, you got to keep reloading it every single time. Well, it reloads itself, but you got to reload it. So yeah, um, so I just been using my regular bow. I don't know if there's an upgraded bow. I guess we could look. Uh, be under range crafting, so we can make we can make like these these cool arrows and stuff. But I don't I don't think that's what we're gonna do. I would though like to actually tame something that would carry lots of weight. No, I don't. The the um, the board didn't carry much weight. It was fast, which was cool, but it just didn't carry a lot of weight. And I would like to tame a longhorn. Now I know that in one of these boxes, and is it this one? Nope. Is it? No, I know it's not that one. Uh, uh, oh yeah, so this is... Okay, so if you remember last episode, I'm like, oh, they got this button that's the F, but you can't really, there was nothing on this. Well, now it's there. And remember I was having problems with commanding an animal, uh, and just one or all of them, and they just kept doing a bunch of stupid stuff. Um, and that, that is fixed. Um, I am I'm really confused at why all my chests are empty. Um, so, yeah. Eh, let's go out and kill some stuff. And I think we'll just go down here and kill some sheep and stuff. I tell you what, let me go kill these things. Open says me, thank you. And shut says me. Shut, thank you. Let me kill some stuff and we will make that rain. Or as I call saddle. And um, we do have a level up though, so we could probably, let's look at our level up. Let's do uh, our attack damage. Actually, let's do our health, and then down here I want to do I want to do that uh, because it doesn't seem like we can run very long. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're wondering what I think about the game, I like it. Um, there's a reaver right there fighting some guys, so I don't know if I really want to go home right now. I don't even know if he's so. There's a meteorite too. I don't even know if he's winning. But there's a bunch of dead animals. Uh, what are they? Oh, they killed it. Ugh. Let's get our fives out. I love where you, because you guys a 100. Ooh. Maybe we should tame one of those guys. What's it take to What's it take to get the Bargosh one? Let's go riding. Um, is this it? Bargosh? Longhorn? Koto? Rock? Sturge? Arachnid? <laughs> Bargosh. We could actually make that one. Let's make one of those guys. Let's make, let's do that for this episode. We'll, I'll tame a boar on my own. But I gotta go get some more, I gotta go get some more, uh, gunpowder. So we can make some more of those arrows. I think, uh, if I read correctly, the Bargosh like eating... The rotten flesh. We'll take some rotten flesh with us and some rotten flesh. I've been playing seven days too much. Um, the rotten. Um, why is my gate not opening? Please open gate. <laughs> Let me. Oh, it's because I'm not pressing the right button. <laughs> open. Open. Thank you. God. Eh, close. Thank you. I've been playing seven days. And um, I got I got flesh on my mind. <laughs> All right, so it says that our mind is tired, so that means we have to go sleep. So let's go over here. All right, well that's a problem too. And now our bed is now our bed is uh, missing. Um, get your brain, get your brain some rest. So now it says that we're thirsty. I think I have a couple bottles of water over here somewhere. <laughs> uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? I think I can eat the berries and they give you some hydration. Um, just a little bit. Not much, though. 
I don't I'm not doing anything with all the seeds yet. So we're just gonna drop those on the ground. Yep. And let's check this chest. Nope. So let's check this chest. Oh, I do need that though. Oh, what the frick? Eh. Search. Take that. Just drag it over, God. Uh, is it this one? Nope. Was it this one? I think this was empty. Yep. Uh, number four. There it is. Um, can I just use it? Let's just bring it over. I think I can just drink them. Oh, I just put them all on the ground. <laughs> Ugh. No. Uh, pick up and pick up and pick it up. All right, let's go into here and drink it. Oh, so one bottle filled us up. Okay. That's that's pretty cool. All right, let's go over here. Let's get us some dry beef. Um, all right, so now we have our dog saddle. Let's drop that. And the seeds. And that. Okay, so let's uh, drag that to this. That'll reload these. Get our number five ready. And let's see if we can find this dog. I see him down there by the water. I just want to make sure his, fr his friend is right there. He is the 100. All right. Well, he already saw me. Okay, so he's not... He's not fast at all. Which is kind of disappointing. Because I thought they were going to be faster than that. See? They can't go around rocks. <laughs> uh, headshot. Oh well, we're, we'll tame it anyways. But yeah, this is this is taming 101. Shoot and click. Keep him in this little area right here. He'll be good. As long as we can keep all these the more that we can keep uh, these uh, lines connected to him, the easier he'll go down. They're like tranquilizers, so just give it a couple minutes. Now he's getting pissed because he's running faster. I don't want to hurt him. That's the only problem. He's got like a million darts in his face. <laughs> Come on, Bargosh. Look at all that torpor going in you. Look at all that tranquilizer. Come on, man. Go down. Go down, son. Run around the sir. Oh. Oh, now he's going to catch up with me and kill me. <laughs> it's like a laser show. <laughs> if you guys hear a little rumble in the background, uh, that is a thunderstorm that popped up out, outside. And I'm trying... Dude, this guy just doesn't want to go down, does he? I mean, how many are you going to take, dude? I wasn't expecting this. Oh, there it is. There it is. So he's running away, which means... There it goes. He's, he's down. Woohoo! All right. He's tired. All right. So let's get our feeding trough out and put it right there. And then let's get in here. Let's see if he wants this 
Or does he want this? Let's see which one he eats first. Uh, he's not taming at all, is he? Oh, he just ate something. What did he eat? He ate the rotten flesh. Okay. I have a crap ton of that, so we're going to go get it. I've been keeping it. Because I think one of the... Uh, uh, one of the other animals, or maybe the birds or something, that actually said that that's what it required, was the flesh. So I have a whole chest of uh, dead flesh over here, I believe, in this pot, maybe? Nope, in this pot. Well, what did we just freaking drop? Berries. In this pot, maybe? What the frick is going on? I feel like... I mean, literally, I had probably a couple stacks of raw meat. Does that stuff uh, degrade too? Look, every... I'm not even clicking on stuff and it's dropping it on the ground. God, that's annoying. I guess rotten flesh goes away too? This is stupid. I didn't know that. Oh, man. I didn't think rotten flesh decayed. I mean, I literally had several stacks of it. I've been keeping it. This is dumb. This is really dumb. That's so stupid. Okay, well, whatever. Um, he'll just have to eat the raw meat, I guess, while the meat in our in our thing goes away. I could give him the dried meat. He might like that. Let's go check on him. Man, that sucks balls. Um. You guys, am I just losing my absolute mind? Did we not have like a whole bunch of regular meat right here? I mean, what the hell? Did it randomly drop it on the ground? Is it in here somewhere, like, randomly on the ground? There's 13. Do you see, I don't see it. There's the saddle. Maybe the timer was six minutes, not six hours. It's not letting me walk in front of the chests. So here I am complaining. <laughs> After I told you that I was fine with the game. But this kind of stuff right here just, just royally... Just, just. There's nothing in there. I mean, maybe I'm just losing my mind. I'm going to go back and look at my recordings. But I swear we had like 30 meat. Whatever. I probably, they probably like randomly dropped it on the ground somewhere when we were trying to do something. So let's go get this dude. We'll probably have to shoot him a couple more times with our arrows. How you doing, my man? You're taming, but not, not, not the best. And now it's raining. We only have nine left. Um, let's go ahead and shoot him one more time. That'll reset him. Let me see if I can look through my chest one more time. 
You guys tell me if I'm going crazy. But I don't think I am. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I know what I saw. I can't move this way. Yeah, nothing. Okay, well, whatever. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Let's go take these 13 to him. We'll tame this 100 level guy. Uh, we should probably go down and get that meteor. It's green. I mean, it's not going to be anything great. Maybe like an uncommon drop or something. Yeah, he wants this meat instead. Let's switch a roo that. Let's shoot him with another bow. Mr. Bargosh. Bam. I should put his constitution up a little bit. So his weight is uh, two, 223, which isn't that bad. Um, his, uh, stamina is 465 and his, uh, hit points is 408. Our writing skill is going up. His attack power though is 230%. That's probably why they, he killed that thing so fast. Let's run down here and see what's in this meteorite. Hopefully we don't uh, run across his his second half or his other half over here and see what we run into. Yeah, this is where I've gotten a couple like uncommon items, which are the green, um, the durability on it's already down to 30, so it's not going to be much. Uh, a. I keep forgetting A is take all. All right. So what I thought, uh, so what I thought happened is happening. He just ate a little bit. Um, the, um, the uh, rotten meat does have a spoil time, which I didn't realize that the last time that I played, which has been about a week ago, so that's why I don't have any meat left. Um, but it does help in your inventory if you break these down into singles because together um, it's going to take this one uh, five minutes. Well, I've broken these all down, but at, at, at first it was all they were all like 50 minutes so if you break them down into singles they will all spoil at the exact same time in only four minutes rather than all spoiling in 54 minutes so i don't i don't even know why that's an option to do that but this guy's just about ready to be tamed and when he's tamed we will call him something i'm not quite sure what um, I'll tell you what, you guys, as the viewers, uh, give me a couple names, and I will pick from those names and give you guys credit for it. But you got to pick a good one, because he's a wild hyena thingy. So, shows that he's tamed. Come on. Hopefully I get lots of experience, the taming experience, because um, I would like to get a little bit bigger animal, like a panther. Which is going to be hard to do because the Panthers are extremely fast, extremely powerful. The only thing I can know to do with the Panthers are to turn them into sheep when they get really close. Because we do have that spell. I can change animals. There we go. Holy crap, he just scared the crap out of me. We'll name him Rin. And then we'll put uh, you pick. You pick name. <laughs> we'll click accept. Alright, so there he is. Rin, you pick name. 
and we are going to equip the saddle that we brought with us. And that saddle is nowhere to be found. I don't know, guys. I really don't. Whoops. Let's click on you. Equip saddle. Put that on you. He can wear a costume. Let's get on him. Ride. Is he fast? No, he's not fast at all. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll take him up here. And leave him right, like, here. He's our guard dog. We'll put him right here by the door. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I know there's some options that I could do with my camera. So I'm going to get my key bindings. And I am going to... Uh, orbital camera is the number... Is the uh, button end. There we go. So we're going to take that as our screenshot. Pew! Dark and light screenshot. Sweet. Alright, that's going to be our screenshot. That's our team for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I know I didn't do much. But um, like I said, it's it's kind of hard. It's kind of difficult to record. I just people are doing stuff and and taming and and, and progressing, and uh, I'll keep recording. I just I want to record something that's interesting. I don't want to record something that you guys have probably seen uh, fifteen times over. So, um, but in episode number two, if you did enjoy it, make sure you click the like bit like button. If you didn't, then do you don't have to do anything. So, um, and if you want to name this beautiful. Um, wild thing. Give me a name and then I will give you credit for it. So I'll see you next time, guys. It's been fun.